Pops is 1987.com. Welcome. Welcome back to Number Sunday to Hip Hop Since 1987 for his father and son tandem. Mm -hmm. My dad and me. Yeah. I am dad. And I am me. You about to die. Are you good? Hear me over yes, here? I don't even know how God can do that drum. Sound like a little girl over here screaming. Well, I mean, that's what you are. I, I like that. I like that. You starting like off from the edges. Yep. You'll be catching an Uber from where we at. I'll go straight to my mom's house. I'll be, Please. I'll be great at my mom's house. Please. Don't dare me. Double dog dare you. I'll be there next week. Mom, I'm coming next week. God bless your soul, Nikki. Please get him. Thank yes. you. I oh, appreciate it. I don't like it. you like that. I, 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 just like, I just like my school and my community. That's the only reason I'm with you. Or else I'll be at my mom's house. <laughs> I like my community. That's it. Well, go, please. I can start my life. I need to start my life. You hold me up. All right, I'll let you go. Your other kids don't like you. I'll join them. Your other two don't like you. Man, they still, they still text the cash app. They got some like for me. They, they, they don't like you. I'm they fine like, with they that. like your money. <laughs> Yo, we gonna cut this show short. Keep talking. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna join my brothers. They don't even want the uh, Please. I'm, I'm your last hope. You. I'm your last hope. Bro, yeah. I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. I need to start my life. All right. Yes, let you. I'll let my other son, the one you don't know about, do this show. It'd be my dad and me. Let's see, let's see how that goes. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> let him. Let him. Bring him in next week. We, let's see how that goes. All right. You, you, you don't want to test this. Yeah, watch. Watch. You're you going you to call me back ASAP. He gonna do what I tell him to do, not what you wanna do. I can't wait to get him in here. Yeah, what you tell him to do is gonna be corny. <laughs> so it ain't gonna go the way you want it to. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I All right, you. moving on to Philly boxers. Yeah, man, Philly, we on top. This first one, last Saturday, J Rock lost in his hometown, Philadelphia, to Jason Rosario. The loss brings J Rock to a record of 27 and 2, which is still a beautiful record, but what matters most is how he bounced back. Will he bounce back like he did to get them championships? We need that type of J Rock. You got the whole Philly behind you. Now you need to go prove yourself. Well, you already did prove yourself, but we just need we just need you to fight. We got you, J Rock. The city is behind you. Let's go, J Rock. Moving on to the next Philly boxer, Cool Boy Steph. Another victory last night. To, to retain his WBO title, he scored an impressive victory last night in Brooklyn, which brings Cool Boy Steph to a record of 18-0, undefeated, never lost. You know what's the crazy part about that victory? That's the seventh person that he gave five, that's the seventh fighter that he gave the first L, which is crazy. And I need you to do me a favor. My dad be talking all that rah-rah. Oh, I was boxing at Joe Fraser Boxing Gym. Joe Fraser Boxing Gym back like 30 years ago. I was hitting on the bags. Them, them bags don't count. Come into the ring with a real fighter. He showed me pictures of him on the bag. That ain't doing nothing. I can go hit a bag and look good. Let me see you hit a real fighter. I need J-Rock to come give you your first L. Not J-Rock. I need Cool Boy Steph to come give you your first L. We need that. You always think you tough. Now let's see what you can do against Cool Boy. Moving on to another good Philly fighter. Man, Philly was on last night. Danny Garcia picked the red catch apart for all 12 rounds. By a unanimous decision, he won. Bring his record to a 36-2. and two. Put some back in position to gain the title back. Come on, Danny. I believe in you. We'll go get this city. Yo, did you see that this fight the ball bit him like right here? And he was like, Danny said when he bit him, the, the ball that he red catch said Mike Tyson. And then he said, I thought I needed stitches when he bit me. Nah, I ain't see that. I, yeah, I, I was like, yo. No, I fell asleep. Yeah, you fell asleep. Woo, that's crazy. All right, moving on to the NBA. Woo, woo, woo. Derrick Rose, that's your man right there, Dad. My dog. That's your dog. That's your dog. Oh, uh, it's rumors that your team could be getting on the Sixers. Please, you please. You could be coming to Philly. I know you wanted, you wanted him and uh, Ben Simmons going side by side. That should be beautiful. I, you, I, you would love that. You'll probably... You gonna need to buy a jersey for you. Yeah, I'm a big fan of D Rose, and yeah. I think he can help us here. I really mm -hmm. do. That score, and the Sixers have been moving on. Joel and B could finally he could be back uh, next week. They said it's time he's looking to next week, but the Sixers did pretty good without him, especially Ben Simmons. His stats were crazy without him, which I was like, I didn't know we had this type of Ben. His last seven games, well, the, well, since B was out, the Sixers are six and three, but in Ben's last seven games. 
24.3 points per game, 10 rebounds, 9 assists, 2 steals, and he's also shooting over 63%. Which is incredible. I'm yeah, like, that's crazy. I'm so I'm telling y'all, Ben ain't no joke. Ben, he don't need to give out forty points, thirty points a night when you got MB right there, the best center in the league. Right. There's no need for you to do all of that. So I guess he, I guess he, I guess he showed that he could do it when he wants. Which I don't like that. You do it every night. You six foot ten, just driving the paint, go dunk like you did. You did that little in and out to Dwight Howard, went to the paint and dunk. We need that type of best Sims. We need. All right, Tate's gonna be my off day. I'm gonna let somebody else get their buckets. No, we need that aggressive. Like Tobias right. Harris, he was balling last night. The Matisse Dabo, they was get, he's getting steals. That's my guy. Well, we gonna get into that later, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, moving on. Well, they didn't go to Sixers game from last night against the Lakers. They was balling. I mean, yep. they held everybody on the Lakers besides AD and LeBron right. to under 10 points. They was like, we're going to let them get their points. We're not going to get them, but they're going to have to work for it. But everybody else ain't getting nothing. Everybody else, Kuzma sit there, Avery Bradley, Dwight Howard, anybody else y'all bring, they ain't getting their points. We just going to stop them right there. <laughs> well, they, they scored 60 out of uh, 91 points. Yeah. AD and LeBron. Yeah, they. Can't win like that. Nope. That's what I'm saying. That's why the Clippers is what gonna. What Coochie do? Who? Coochie. Who is that? Kuzma. Kuzma. Yeah. Oh, don't call him that. That's disrespectful. Uh -oh. uh -oh. He had, he had like, what four points? Oh man, Kuzma. Come on, that's why you're on the trade block. That's why he on the trade block. They might, they might be trading him ASAP. Yeah. What would you? I, I think, huh? I think they should go. I would. I mean, the Sixers. There was been rumors of them trading all over and a first for Kevin Love. Uh -huh. I wouldn't want that. Uh, nah, I, de I definitely don't want that. We got to make a move. We definitely need to make a move to make a push. And, um, I don't know who we can give up because I like Zaire Smith who got hurt last night. Dang, he played three uh, minutes and yeah, got hurt. I, I like him. He got like assist in that three I minutes. Gotta, yeah, I like his upside. Don't want him to go. Yeah. I don't definitely don't want Matisse Thabo to go. Oh, Matisse's about to go. They didn't let go Landry Shimmett last year, that rookie. Oh. Landry, remember? Yeah, Landry he, Shimmett. He had like nine threes in the game. Seven. They let him go for Tobias. They better not let Matito though. Nah. Right. Nah. So um, six I guess points and five steals. Yeah. It is Scott. They, shake they, building. Shake. Yeah. Shake. Shake building. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like Shake? I, I do. I didn't trade. I didn't know play trade Burke more though. I like Shake. He's a, he's that's why he called that's why his name Sniper Shake. He can shoot the ball. Yeah. But I need a little more. Like you was a stiff board. Uh, you know what I mean? I need a little more. And I I, will be, I love him right now. I like you because he's a sixer. Mm -hmm. Trey Burt, I think they hold him out because they, you know, I mean, they know he's better than uh, Neto, mm -hmm. and they could be able to trade him. Yeah, I mean, I think they should. I think we just the Sixers just need more shooters and stuff like that. Yeah. Once they get more shooters, I think they can actually be contending because that team right now they on and off. They got the great like last night you seen against the Lakers. The Lakers been killing people, but they got games like that. But then they got games where they go. What to Brooklyn and barely beat them with a uh, Kyrie who's just I don't know what's going on with him right now. He they talking about he's not a good leader. They talk about no, I'm just hard on. I didn't him. hear that seriously. Yeah, they That's said the, you gotta tell us that. They said like uh, rumors and stuff him coming out like he not being a good leader. So I'm in the locker room saying that. I mean oh. I think I mean I can't wait to see that duo of him and Kevin Durant. I just want to see how that works out. Okay. But hopefully Kevin come back like that, like Kevin Durant, like that KD. A milestone was reached last night, correct? Yes, if he I'm moved to mistaken, third of all time past, past Los Angeles, probably one of the greatest players of all time, uh -huh. Kobe Bryant. He passed it and he moved into third. He's going for that first. I think he's going to get it. He, I don't think he's going to get it. That's a little stretch, my friend. We talked about 38,000 points. He had 33. It's possible, though. It's possible. Yeah. I mean, like, if LeBron be spending millions of dollars on his body, he could play it to forever. All right, that's a possibility. Yeah. All right, moving on to the next segment. All-Star Weekend is coming up. They named the starters, and they will name the reserves Thursday. But this is crazy. I'm going to give my predictions for the West uh, reserves, which this the West is going to be crazy. Somebody's good is going to get snubbed. Somebody's not going to make it. That's good. Right. That's how I go every year. Yeah. All right. But my prediction is Damon Lillard, he's in there. Devin okay. Booker, he should be in there. Okay. Uh, Nicolius Jokic, he should be in there. That's three. <laughs> this, yo, this is hard. You, uh, Donovan Mitchell, he's been balling. And okay. you got to give it to, I, I know some people not gonna, some people might like it, but he been balling this year, averaging like 25. Oh. Brandon Ingram, you got to give it to oh, him. Oh, yeah, B.I. You got to yeah. give it to him. Yes, he's been doing his thing. And then now it's basically team. between Westbrook, Paul George, Carl Anthony Towns, and Chris Paul. Which one of them four going to make it? Hold up, Tyler. How many did you just name? I named six. 
Name the six again. We didn't hear you. Lillard. Yeah. D Book. Yeah. Nikola Jokic. Yeah. Brandon Ingram. Right. Donovan Mitchell. Oh, right. I need five, but I meant to say right. okay. Rudy Gobert. Wake, wake up. Rudy Gobert. Wake up. Make, Rudy Gobert gonna make it. What? Why? What you mean, why? Where's he going? That man, Rudy, that he's disrespectful. Deep no, pretty good. Uh, yeah, He's last right year. Now. Yeah, last year. And We're talking I'm about this year. Still, I mean, he's a big part of the reason that success. Mike Conley okay. doing that for this size just, ass. I just need some numbers. That's all. All right, I'm getting there. But right. uh, yeah. we're gonna name, but we're gonna name the uh, the people that's one of these people to get snubbed now. Okay. All right, ready for this? One of these boys that get snubbed: Westbrook. Okay. Paul George. Okay, because you named six, right? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. So only, I, only uh, Westbrook, Paul George, Carl Nick Towns, and Chris Paul. One, only one of the four can make. Chris it. Paul, goodbye. No, no. Carl Anthony, goodbye. All right. Uh, uh, Westbrook, goodbye. You don't think they're going to give it to him? And who else? Paul George, Paul George. goodbye. Chris Paul. You think you're going to give it to Chris Paul? Right, because they got a winning record. And he over there, and he doing his thing. Carrying just like Jay yeah. is. So, yeah. Right. Moving on to the East starters. Okay. Oh, this one. Man, they got a lot of heat for this. Coaches are talking about oh, how come Jimmy smoked. didn't make it. I mean that's why that's why it's um uh it's a uh, all star pick, they right. two captains pick, which is the captains LeBron and Giannis. But the East, I mean Trey Young and Kemba, the, that the, uh, Trey cool, but I think Jim, Jimmy should have been in there for one of them, either one. One of them you gotta get off of Jimmy. There's no way Jimmy shouldn't have been start. I mean shouldn't have been on the bench. He should be starting. Well, he's not a fan favorite uh, 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 no, over over soccer and uh Giannis. No, so, no, 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 but they could have put him as a guard. They that no, no, they put it. I'm saying they could have though. That's not. Yeah. But uh, I think the real reason is because surprised just like Bryce Harper and MLB didn't make the All Star game because it was fan voted and people were mad that they, he didn't go to their team. That could also been a reason why Jimmy didn't get the starters because like the All Star game is fan voted. That's why coaches like this uh Heat coach uh what's his name the Heat coach Spolster. Yeah, he was like this is stupid. Like why are, we know all know Jimmy should be starting, which I'm like I agree. But moving on to the reserves, the East reserves. Yeah. Uh, ben Simmons, Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler, and Bam Adebayo, Jason Tatum, and Bradley Beal. Six. That's, that's three. Six. Yeah, six. I think that's gonna be the reserves. Uh, All right. Let's talk about Zion Williams. Okay. Yeah, he had he had great looking debut. Yes, he did. Look at that. That's only impressive. Only eighteen minutes. Only eighteen, 18 minutes. minutes, and you got four threes. And 22 points mm -hmm. and seven rebounds. Yeah. I think. Very his, impressive. Oh, his problem is he's 6'6, 285. Right. I think all that. To be 285 at 6'6, six, six, right. that's like. They don't. Lord don't make uh, many of those. But I think they actually take a toll on his knees. You got to pray on that. Because 285, that's like one of the most of the NBA. LeBron was like 250. Okay. And he's taller. And I think just. I think he probably got to lose a couple. Lose some weight. Because he, he could. He, 285, 6'6", six, six, and he jumping out the building, and he just showed he getting a three-point shot. He could yeah. shoot a little bit, too. That's scary. That's very that's scary. scary. Yeah, that's... He What's also, more scary is if he's going to last past five years with that 285 frame. Yeah, he better. He got to drop some. I don't know what they've been doing. We all knew that injury wasn't that bad, that he had to wait off this time. But he, he in the second game, he had, in 21 minutes, he had 15.6 rebounds, shooting oh. seven for nine. For real? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know he played so the second game. Yeah. Did he get some dunks? Uh, I ain't, I ain't watching. I just look okay. at that. I had other games to watch. Oh, I bet. Yeah, the Rockets. No, I, I mean, I want, I mean, I want James Harden and Westbrook to win, but they not going to win, being honest. Uh, that's probably the Clippers. Oh, you came off that crack, huh? <laughs> yeah. I, okay. I mean, I was just trying to hype myself up. You know how you hype yourself up? Yeah, they going to uh -huh. win. Like, what, like I did with the Eagles. Yeah. I was trying to hype myself up. I, I just finally just had to let it go. Right. I realized that they... They not gonna win it, but I hope they could go far because we all know both of them, they two best players, and don't show up in the playoffs, which is a problem. Now if they do, they could possibly do something. But if they go if they play like they did the rest of the all the other years in the playoffs, they not gonna go far. Alright, you got something to say? No, I don't. Yeah, yeah now you you waking up. You yeah. smelling the coffee. Yeah. Clippers right, Clippers like, go away. I mean I mean everybody gotta have a wild pick. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. Woo! Philadelphia. We're moving on to the NFL. Philadelphia, stay or go. Uh-oh. This is a segment where Come I go. Come on, Howie. What you got for me, Howie? 
Gia Mare. They gonna call me Gia Mare. Gia Mare. At this one. I'm gonna tag out in this one. Gia Mare. I'm gonna give you some advice right here. Talk to us, man. All right, this this segment is basically I give the Philadelphia free agents, and I'm gonna tell y'all if they should stay or go. I'm gonna give y'all my predictions. Cause ain't that time about to come in March? Yeah, they, make they, they basically starting now. You should, okay. The, soon as soon as playoffs ended, they should be moving nope. on next day. Okay. Starting with the. Uh, we gonna Boston. tag Philadelphia Eagles in this. Y'all ain't in the wrong. Super Bowl. Don't worry about no Super Bowl. Y'all need to worry about next year's Super Bowl. Cause that's there you go. Debate. There you go. All right. Um, moving on. First person. We all know that's he my ain't man coming right back. there. I'm only had like one good year here, and that was that Super Bowl year. He's fast. I like him. He fast, but he ain't. That's about it. He be driving balls. He. I don't even think he wants to be here. His. I don't even. What was his injury like the last, the last like five games? What was I, his, I don't know. I, he don't want to be here, and he's getting paid nine million. Philadelphia isn't gonna want to pay him the price. It's just time to move. He get nine million year. a year. No, cause he uh fifth year option. You have to pay him. You have to pay him nine million. Oh really? Yeah. That's what he just got. That whole year he got nine million. Wow, way to go, Nelson. He got his way to go. All right, so Nelson Aguilar is going bye bye. Hopefully, I want the Eagles to go draft the prior receiver, but we're gonna save that for next week for the free agents in a draft. We're gonna save that for other weeks. Okay. All right, moving on to the next player, Malcolm Jenkins. This one's gonna hurt Philly fans. He said he's not taking a pay cut. As uh, much as I want him to stay, he's gonna have to go. We don't have the we don't our cap space is very tight right now. We don't have the time to go give players ten million a year, especially this old man. I mean, I, I love you. You were the star at secondary. We don't have money to pay you nine million a year. We have we have to go draft one first round, second round, because we just, I mean, that's gonna make our secondary even worse. But we don't have our cash space is so tight. We won't be able to pay him nine million a year. Okay. Moving on to the next player, man. This is getting real. Nigel Bradham. He stuck us up. Yeah, he he missed that. Oh, he just had a bad year. Yeah, I think he had a bad year. Okay. He missed the game. Basically, one of the game one attack was against Russell Wilson. They were, I think it was, they were they were tied. They go smart. They uh, go ahead drive, I believe, third and like fifteen or eighteen. Russell Wilson runs. He missed an open tackle. Open field tackles are one of the hardest tackles in the NFL. But we are a middle linebacker in the NFL getting paid how however, however much he get paid. You got to make that tackle. Your team, your team uh, season was on the line right there, and you didn't deliver. But I think they'll, I think they'll keep him because he's. I don't, I don't see him asking for over five million. But a year. He's still signed though. He just signed a five year deal here. When? Uh, no. Like three years ago. Oh. Uh, uh. I had the Super Bowl. Alright, moving on to the next player. Man, man, man. Vinny Curry. He won't I don't, I mean, they're gonna sign him. He's not gonna want much. So I see I see him staying. That D line, they had an off year to me. I mean everybody. Fletcher, I mean Brandon Ingram and Derek Burnett didn't have that bad of a year. But I guess I'm just thinking of like that. I don't know. I'm expecting what they did in that Super Bowl year. That's the kind of team I'm expecting. Which I gotta believe, like they was just they was just on fire that whole year. Like there was nothing stopping them. That momentum they carried with them. They carried it on their back. They was just balling. There was nothing nobody could do. Moving on to the next player, Ronald Darby. This one's gonna be interesting. This is bomb. I yeah. I don't think they bomb. Hold up. Darby he's, ain't no bomb. He's a bomb. Yeah. Darby ain't no bomb. Darby, he's that's fast, bad. but he ain't show me nothing. I, I don't think they go. They like once again, Eagles are cheap on money, so it's gonna be hard for them to re-sign the players that they want. Darby, as much as I want you to stay here, See, I like Darby. I'm just playing. I do like Darby. I don't know. Um, like, it, it depends. I would. I don't know if I'll give him eight million a year though. He already got eight million. I mean, yeah. he's he's cool. I, I think mean, I, I think we should keep Darby. You gotta keep him. Him and Sid, him and Maddox, Sidney Jones, they should be. I mean, Sidney Jones, he was real good in college, but his injury is what kind of messed him up. Moving on to the next player. Um, this man, he was the one that was faked an injury. <laughs> Just go. Don't even, we don't even want to. Who is that? The bull, uh, Cameron, uh, the linebacker, uh. Hill, oh, so that's okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't care. You going. You faked an injury. Doug Peterson found out. This is sad. You was you made us like a fool. Like you just disrespected the whole organization by that. And I do not think they should resign him for what he has done. And it's not like he's a great player on the field or something like that. He's aight. He ain't that. He ain't all that. He's aight. He what? He's aight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, moving on to the next player. Stay or go. Man, man, man. Jordan Howard. They must stay. 
I mean, he didn't. I can't say he messed up his money because he didn't play on time. Though, man. That he came back in week 17 and playoff, and I, he didn't even play him. Him and Miles Sanders could have been a one two punch. <laughs> then you got Boston Scott and Roy. That could have been that three year monster like what we had in that Super Bowl year. That could have been it. But they did not want to play him. I don't know. They, they, they low key messed up his money a little bit, and I, I feel bad for him because he. He was like back to back thousand yard years. Yeah. He come here, he missed like four games. Miles Sanders go off, and he just complete act and activate him, release Jay Chai, and they just completely forget about him and just go ball to Scott and Miles Sanders. Yeah. No disrespect to y'all, but y'all y'all gotta give. It. I don't know why y'all didn't get this man Jordan Howard the ball, <coughs> the ball. but they not gonna resign him because I mean I wouldn't even want him to resign here. He need to go somewhere to do better because they already got their future in Miles Sanders. Right. That's what they're looking for. They're not. I'm not gonna pay him because they tight on money and they just he he not even gonna it's not, it don't even fit here. We tried it for a year. He wasn't he was cool them first eight games, but once he got injured and came back, they didn't even play him. Once I realized in that wild card week seventeen they didn't play him, I was like he's not staying. So he probably wanna stay, but it won't happen. Moving on to the next player. Woo hoo hoo. This man. Uh huh. I don't know. I'm still stuck up there. I don't know if I want to. Know. I'm going to say, I mean, it all depends on how much he asks for. But uh, I guess depending on how much he asks for, that's going to be, that's going to be, uh, this is Tim Jernigan. Oh, thank you. We we was wondering who he was. <laughs> that's that's going to be how much he, uh, I mean, it all depends on how much per ask for and see what they can get. But I don't, uh, I see him staying here. That D-line, our D-line isn't bad. We just, messed, we just got injuries after injuries. Moving on to the next player, okay. Rodney McLeo. This whole secondary finna be going, but I'm fine with the upside. Yeah, he didn't he get he didn't he get hurt this year, and he came back. I mean, I don't care. Everybody name all these secondaries. Y'all did not do good in 2019. That last year, y'all y'all suck. Y'all did terrible. Getting <laughs> burnt, letting route everything. Like the defense was terrible this year. I think that was oh, probably one of the biggest upsets. I'm going to tag them in this. Like, why are you, you are Well, I'm just speaking honest. Y'all going to tell you, oh, y'all did great. Oh, y'all I'm just speaking honest. I want to <laughs> win a Super Bowl. And uh, keeping him and Jacobs here, giving them $10 million plus, that ain't going to help. What if they inbox you? Well, then we can talk about it there. I would still speak the same. Yeah, I they, still speak. They can come here and talk about it. <laughs> come here. I can, they can say it face to face. I ain't scared. <laughs> I ain't scared of no man. Then I got to help you out. I don't need to help you. you First of all, I don't even expect you to help me no more. Once you fold in with Brock Lesnar, I don't even expect you. That's why, that's why I need a uh, cool boy stuff to come knock you off. You folded. You already folded. We ain't even get there. You, you already saying what you already did. You folded. Ladies and gentlemen, Google Brock Lesnar. He want me to take him with this dude. Yes. <laughs> Great any any parents that are watching, any parents that are watching, if just if Brock Lesnar, say you want like a store, Chinese store, or something, Brock Lesnar, come in there, walk in, and push Hold your up. child. I do that again. Let me let me get this. Let me get this footage in case listen, I do do someone day. I can play this back for you. Now, yes, yes. Hold on. I need you to paint this scenario again. I want everybody to be listening and hearing. Mm -hmm. I need I All need right? y'all. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. All right, you in, a, you in a store with your with your son, right? Any parents out there in a store with your son? Brock Lesnar come in. I'm sure y'all know who Brock Lesnar is. If y'all don't, Google him. Brock Lesnar, WWE, UFC star. Uh, he come in. Push your child. What are you going to do? Are you going to be like my dad, the punk, and just stand there and be like, hey, can you stop getting with my child? Or are you going to have to go to table? Like, I, we all know most people aren't being Brock Lesnar, but at least go with child. I'm on the ground, knocked out, and my dad over here stopping. He going to knock you out, too. You're not going to sit there, but I okay, said, I'm going to stop. I, I said I will stand over you so he won't hit you no more. So like you're not going to fight him? Right, Mary. You're not going to be like, right, we got to square up. I'm going to make sure he ain't going to touch you no more. That's, you said you're a punk, dad. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't you, believe it. You, you going to come with that? Yeah, I'm going with my pop pop. <laughs> oh, I know pop, I know pop pop ain't going to fall. We all know pop pop ain't going to fall. Pop pop is crazy. We all know he ain't going to fall. He going to start tangling a Brock Lesnar. You know, Joe Fraser boxing jail. You know pop. Yeah. But what I'm, this is what I'm saying. No, you said nothing, dad. I'm protecting you. you I'm gonna make sure he don't hurt you. Nah, that's a nut move. That's a nut move right there. I'm protecting you. No, what he, you want me to do? He gonna knock you. You sitting there be like, stop. He gonna be like, what? And just boom, knock you out too. But as long as he don't hit you no more, that's the point. I'm gonna be dead. So it's no, I mean, what I'm you mean? Beast. I'm gonna cover your body like, yo, get out of here, bro. You know what, I mean? what you want? Leave him alone. First of all, if he don't laugh at you, he's gonna <laughs> knock you out. 
You better hope you don't laugh first. You better, you better, you better hope he laughs so that could distract them. That's, that's, that's a good that's a good way right. That's a good strategy. Make him laugh and then possibly hit him. Because you sit over there, Brock, get away, Brock, Brock, get away, Lester, Lester, Brock, Lester, get away. That ain't gonna work. So I'm supposed to, we had the Chinese story, so I'm supposed to tell him to come on outside real quick? Yes. No, 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 not even going to say that. Once he pushed me, it was a jump on him right there. Right there. Like you yeah. told me, my brothers get to a fight, I got to be jumping with him. Right. That's how that go. Not, oh, I'm going to let my brother get back up and try, or I'm going to just stand over and say, stop. No, we fighting together. But I'm outmatched. You just said that. Bro. I don't, I don't I'm care. Out, are you okay? No. Okay. So, after you, after, so after he punched me, yeah. what do you think he going to do? He gonna look at me like, yo, what you trying to do? I said, what you ain't gonna do? You ain't gonna touch him no more. And I'm gonna cover your body with my big body, and we good. He gonna tear you up, dad. You, that's the ultimate nut move. That's the ultimate nut. Y'all hear what my dad said? As a parent, do not follow his that. Your child would not like you no more. That's I'm starting up like my dad. You go. <laughs> You gonna move out? Under yes, I'm, I'm moving to my bomb house. <laughs> but you gonna give me credit for trying? Like that's not try. I don't even call that trying to protect me. Okay. You just you just trying to protect yourself. You trying yeah. to get punch. So if I go out, if I go swing on him and he knock me cold out, I'm good. I mean, yeah, I mean at least you tried, yeah. Okay. At least you get at least some. You getting less nut points from trying. <laughs> you, you had a max on your nut level was at a hundred right now. You max out. I know I ain't. I don't know if I'm walking. I don't feel protected with you no more. <laughs> your nut level just maxed out at a hundred. Like I can't believe you did this. Uh, yo, I'm a hashtag that. My what? Your nut level. My nut level. <laughs> So I'd be like, you are the ultimate nut, nut king right here. You, took, you done took it from Wallow. You done took it from Wallow. You are the nut king. All because you I'm, just, you, I'm you, protecting my child. I'm that's not even protecting, no. You gonna knock, dad, you ain't, how, dad, you have to fight. Okay. Let's go tackle him. Uh, Let's get a hit on him, but I hit him. I, I try. Not, I'm protecting my son. Stop, stop. That's not going to do anything. You can, what you don't tell, you understand? You can tell people. Brock Lesnar Brock hit me, and my dad made sure he ain't touch me no more. No, no. Not good no, My dad got to fight. He just knocked your son out. You're not even going to go hit him? I'm going to keep him away from you. So you're not gonna, So after someone just hit your child, you're not going to go hit him back? You're not going to go fight him? He just, he just knocked your son out cold, and yeah. he's just going to stand there. I don't want to go to jail. You not, That's, that's going to protect you. You're not going to jail for that. They might take me to jail. At least you're I, sunny. Need to, I need to be here for you. You tell me all the time, Dad, don't do nothing dumb, cause you know I don't want to write you. And I say, okay, but I don't want to do nothing dumb. Dad. Huh? Dad. Huh? Dad. <laughs> Dad, you just a nut. We can't change it. You, that, that's the way you were born. We can't change it. We just can't. You can't. You can't. There's some things you can't change, and that's one of them. You're a nut. You are a Hall of Fame nut. Hall of Fame nut. Hall of Fame. You going down in a book. Oh man. History has been made today. <sighs> All right, I'm just saying. I thought I did I did a, a disservice to you by protecting you and making sure he didn't want to piece you. He got you the first time and I got over your body like yo dog, back up. You Please, people you. comment. Please tell me what y'all do because I I probably need to go find his father, someone to protect me, because he won't he don't protect me at all. He Brock, stop, Brock, Brock, stop. That's not gonna help. I'm gonna be I need Please tell me in the comments what y'all what y'all would do as parents if Brock Lesnar came and knocked your son out. What would you do? What would, you do? What would I do? I already know what you would do. I don't even want to hear that again. That was terrible. And Ramir, I said Ramir, Amir and Ramir, just hopefully y'all are there. Hopefully y'all are swing. I need I need Joe. We know I know Joe is swing. Yo. I need Joe. Joe is swing right on. Joe, Joe ain't no Joe. Joe. Joe's my rider right there. Joe is swing right on him. You better hope he with you. Girl. I am, cause I feel more protected with him. Than you. <laughs> Moving on to the next player, man, 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 Jalen uh -oh. Double Move Mills. <laughs> Baby, that's baby toast. Yeah, he actually had a career year this year though. He, really? Yeah, he he was actually balling this year. Mm. Maybe that was just a, the the year before this one. Maybe that was just a bad year. Okay. But every double move that came his way, they were getting. <laughs> I know everybody that came and get sent there was like, oh yeah, let me go to his side. <laughs> let me just want a quick double move and I'm going to touch you. You call him double move Mills? Yeah, double oh. move Mills. <laughs> I never heard of that one. That's his name. Yeah, that's funny though. All right, moving on. That's my Philadelphia stay and go. Now we're moving on 
<sighs> the Rob Reeves and Richard Sherman, they went back and forth on Twitter. Back mm. and forth. Enlighten me. What happened? So, the Rob Reeves basically said, uh, I don't know why um, Richard Sherman talking that. He's a zone corner. He don't. He can't play man. He, he just a zone. He does a good job. He does a great job at sitting in his zone and reading coverages. If you put him on man to man with any receiver, he won't do anything. That's what the Rob Reeves said. Richard Sherman said, I would clap back, but I got a Super Bowl to prepare for. You you just wish you were in the league could, so you could go to the Super Bowl. Okay. So they was that basically happened. And that brings to the question is, is Richard Sherman a zone corner? I don't I don't think he is at all. Because he, he showed plays where in man, like against that crab tree, that crab tree rock. That I'm pretty sure that was man. Yeah, that was man because I remember they left them two on the island by themselves. What he do? But then and then he got he showed Hollis that he he's good. He's a good uh, man coverage. But I guess the Real Reavers, maybe he was maybe he seen something that he didn't. Moving on to the next. Eli Manning. Is he a Hall of Famer? He retired uh Friday that just passed. Do you think he's a Hall of Famer? Uh yeah, the two numbers. Super Bowl win, yeah, two, yeah, two Super Bowl wins, both against Tom Brady. I think I think he is. Both of was against Patriots? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. I know one was. Mm-hmm. So it was two. Wow. Yeah, I mean he put up he put up cool numbers. Yeah. He had like, like about fifteen, famous. sixteen years in the league. Um, so he's definitely a uh, Hall of Fame eligible. I don't know his yeah. numbers, but I think he's Hall of Fame eligible. Yes, I think I think he will be going down in Hall of Fame right after his brother. Uh, mm-hmm. moving on to the next segment or question, Tony Brown. This man, this your man right here. I used to love AB dog. That used to be my favorite receiver. Him, Le'Veon, and Big Ben. I wasn't a Steelers fan, but I love I love them three. That was like the trio. It just separated, and this man has gone crazy, like real crazy. He got first of all, it all started back in like August. No, it started last year where they wanted to get uh, traded from the Steelers, which the Steelers traded them. And then he gets to the Raiders, didn't even play a game yet. It was nothing happened. It was all cool. Like a week before week one, he told the Raiders to release me on Instagram. He goes on Instagram and say, Raiders, release me. He goes to the Patriots. And then he plays, I think, one or two games with the Patriots. And then after they released him, he went wild. Like, um, he went to, he just went to jail the other day. Uh, a battery assault because he threw a rock at the, he was, first of all, he was getting a moving truck. He did what? He was getting a moving truck, right? I heard about right? this, yeah. This man, there's something wrong with him. He, he, he was getting a moving truck because he's moving from California, Oakland, where, where he was with the Raiders. To Miami, which is his hometown, yeah. and the moving truck, he had to pay him, pay him over four thousand dollars. And the man, as the man was driving away, because Antonio Brown didn't pay him, Antonio Brown threw a rock at the window. It didn't hit the man, thank God. But then they can't. Uh, then they got on the phone or something like that. And then the man, Antonio Brown said, "I'll pay you four thousand dollars." And then his him and his trainer, the man got out. His trainer took the keys, opened up the back, and Antonio Brown took all the stuff out the truck. Didn't pay the guy at all after he said he was gonna pay him. Did not pay him at all. And then he made the guy leave, and then they press charges on him. Oh, him. so he was dropping his stuff off. Yeah. He that was, way he didn't want to pay, he was going to pull off with his stuff. Yeah. The, 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 if the man, the Antonio Brown did not want to pay the man, so right. the man pulled off. Where his stuff in it? Yeah, that's the first like, time. Like, you don't want to pay me, I'm taking this back. Yeah, and then they, uh, I guess they got on the phone, and the man, the, and then Antonio Brown agreed to the pay the man $4,000. And then the man came back. And then that's where he basically robbed the man for not rob, but they took the stuff. This it's an brown trainer took the man keys from the truck, opened it up, and they got everything out. And then they made the guy leave. And then they threw rocks at him and stuff like that. Wow. And he they took him to jail. He got released from a hundred k bond. And then the judge said you need to go get some help. He like because like he has to be on something. There's no way this is just there's no way he's just behind this for the last seven years. Because he was in the NFL, he's probably he was the best receiver in the NFL to me, and that was my favorite receiver. But seeing him turn into all of this is just like upsetting because I love AB and I don't know what happened, but he had, I think he's on drugs or something. Oh my! Yeah, he, he 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 has to be because there's no way this just comes out of nowhere. He didn't or it might no, just be a mental health issue, like Delonte. Maybe, maybe it is a men- mental health. Delonte, that was you see that video I sent you? Ah uh, yeah, you you scared me six o'clock in the morning with that. Yeah, I heard you. I heard you in the other room, Delonte. Yeah. People are trying to reach out for Delonte for help. That video, that was sad. Like he had, he was a millionaire at one point, and I guess he just blew all that away. Yeah. Des Bryant, Jordy Nelson. 
they're trying to reach out to him and get him some help. Hopefully they do because that was that's not a joke. I felt bad for him. So tell me, AB might be suffering from the same thing. Yeah, that I mean it's possible. Yeah. I mean, AB probably has a lot of money, so he probably won't be able to blow it all away so quickly or something like that. But that's still sad, man. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. My oh my, the Titans. They long run. They they first. They I think it was like week six. Marcus Mariota, they benched them. They were two and four. No one able to call. This is, this is sad. No one's seen this terrible of a season coming. They turned it on. Like, they, I guess they just wanted to treat Derrick Henry leading the league in rushing yards without even playing week seven for week 16 mm -hmm. and 1,500 yards. They go in wild curve weekend. Everybody's like, all right, this is about to be a Patriots win. Derrick Henry and the Titans, they, he makes up about – he makes up like 73% of their offense. That's, how, that's his usage rate, which is yeah. wild. They go in, beat the Patriots. That's like upset. Wow. They go to the Ravens. They're not, everyone's like, they're not beating the Ravens. But the Ravens in back to back years, wow. they have good regular season and yeah. don't show up in the playoffs. And that's what they do this year. And Derrick Henry and the Titans, they go upset them while the Chiefs, while, while the, they waited for the Chiefs and the Chiefs beat the Texans. Then we get to this matchup. I'm like, yo, mm -hmm. if the Titans been playing the way they have been playing, it's, this could go either way. It was all coin to halftime. If then Magic Mahomes just came in and started drawing the fourth quarter, he went off. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm so he looked one of the best corners in the league. That's why he fin that's why he about to get forty million next year and get over two hundred million dollars for over seven years. What? This, that's what he talking about? Yeah, his, his contract oh, about to break records. He wanna, he's getting with that once. Yeah. I mean, he could going to get more than that. It's probably going to be start at 40 and probably going to be able to go up to 50. I won't be surprised because this man, he's been balling these last two years. You know, like he, he got this money off for two years, man. Yeah. It's not like he's been doing it for four consistent years. He did it for two. He did it for back-to-back -back years, two years. And they gave, they gave him this money. So I'm like, yeah, I understand because he's MVP. And then he leading your team to the Super Bowl. I guess you gotta give his money. Board man gets so. paid. Yeah. Magic Mahomes getting paid. Your time pack. Moving on to the 49ers and Packers game. Dad, this game was crazy. The 49ers blew them off the water. Yes, they did. But you wanna know the craziest part about it? What? They won with Jimmy Garoppolo only attempting to throw eight passes. Only eight passes. How? Their yeah. defense, the first of all, the running back, Raheem Moster, had over 200 yards. Their defense was just getting turnovers, just leading them in field group, uh, leading them in great position. The Packers just couldn't do anything. It was terrible. It was just a blowout win. And I can't, moving on to the next one, I can't wait for that Super Bowl, though. That Super Bowl is going to be crazy. Yeah. Y'all may want my predictions, and y'all be like, who I think y'all win? Well, if y'all want to know who I win, y'all have to tune in next week, because that's when I'll tell y'all. It is. I like I'll that. I will not tell y'all today. Y'all have to I tune like in that next one. week. All right, thank y'all for watching. Uh, it's Pro Bowl today. Make sure everyone watch the Pro Bowl. You watching that trash? Yeah, I watch the Pro Bowl all the time. I'm just mad Odell not in it, man. Odell makes it ten times better. O that one year with Odell, Jarvis, and Travis Kelsey was all on the same team. That was like my favorite Pro Bowl. But I love the Pro Bowl. It's just fun. It's just like I like the All Star Game. They make it so fun and stuff. And they just added two new rules. I mean, it's crazy. But only if Odell was in it, it'd be like ten times better because Odell would just make it. He should make everything fun. But hopefully it's actually fun. They usually turn it up in the fourth quarter. That's when they actually get serious and stuff. But, yeah, tune in next week to find my Super Bowl predictions because that's what I'm going to tell y'all. I will not tell y'all this week. All right. You have it, folks. That's mm -hmm. another edition of My Dad and Me right here on Hip Hop since 1987. I'm signing off, and I'm Dad. And I'm me. And we'll see y'all again next week at the same time. We have a special guest next week also. You don't even know, do you? I do. I, I feel you. Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah, I was told. Okay. Uh, all right. Nah, all right. Save it for next week, right? Yeah, save it for next week. <laughs> all right. See y'all.